Well, we're in, we're in the wind now, guys. We're in the wind now. The good one here, I can always... I am kind of deep. Yeah. That's, that's fish. Yeah. That's a fish. <laughs> that's a fish. Yeah, buddy. What do you got there, buddy? All right, buddy. Nice little hatchery fish. Yeah. Woo. This doesn't sound good, guys. High wind warning effect to 1 p.m. Southeast winds 25 to 40 miles per hour with gusts of 55 to 60. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> Addicts, welcome back to another episode of Addictive Fishing. Today we are in the element. We're out in it, man. <laughs> we I should know. be flying a kite today. <laughs> yeah, we should be on the beach flying a kite. <laughs> Instead, we're out here casting rods for steelhead. Crazy wind storm. It is no joke today. There's there's calling for gusts up to 60 miles an hour, but Dave and I don't get much time don't off. Don't get a lot of time, so we're gonna make the best of it and yeah. uh, come hammer. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna come out in this, as you can see, we're on the the wind's blowing from the south pretty bad, and so we're tucked up on this bank and it's still blowing right on the bank. So we're in for a treat today. Wish us luck, wish us a safe journey, and let's go bang on some fish, right, baby. Let's yeah. Go. Woo! Bang! Are you fishing a bead right there? Yeah, I just I was I just came in there. There's no excuse for that. Just for one second. There's no excuse for that. Just for one second, bud. Trout fishing a bead. No excuse, no excuse. I'm surprised he didn't have his legs crossed. I'm, I'm up now, I'm up now. I'm we up have a now. rare sighting. <laughs> Gotta show these steel out a little respect, I guess, huh? Might be Woo. a thing. Well, it's kind of cool what we're doing is where I got a bobber dog on and Nick's got a vertical float, so we're kind of trying to fish different parts of the hole so we can cover it correctly. and. Gotta find one of these fish in this wind and rainstorm. Storm and Norman, bruh. I got it. What is it? What is it? What is it? A rock. Oh, boy. Rock on, brother. Rock, rock on. on. Steel Panther. Boy, I saw you do this here a little while back. Look at that. Oh, now this one's got a lot of mouse on him, though. Oh, my. Look at that guy. That's pretty got sick. All kinds of foot grabbers. Native, let him back. Reboot. Precisions and decisions and lesions and lesions and pleasing. Come on and eat it. Come on and eat it. Come on and eat it. You know you want it. You know you want this bead in your mouth. All right, addicts. Oh, were you ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. And so we're doing today's tackle tip. <laughs> hey, we're gonna do the tackle tech tip. <laughs> Why can I not say it? <laughs> All right, addicts. Well, with today's weather, the wind and the rain, it was extremely tough to film this on the water. So we're here in the garage and we're gonna do today's tackle tech tip. But today we're gonna to be talking plug fishing. We did a lot of plug fishing in today's episode um, and you guys are gonna see a lot of that. And, and the reason for that is it's a great tactic in the wind and the higher water. Um, we're able to kind of stay in there and fish these areas where it's a little bit tougher to fish. So Dave's gonna kind of walk us through the setup and, and how he likes to run his plugs and, and he's gonna kind of walk you through uh, from top to bottom. Yeah, you bet, you bet. So with our main line, we're going, you know, you can go down to a 40, even 50 pound braid is what I like. Um, then I'm gonna run a bead. So we're gonna slide this up. 
So he's sliding this bead on his line addicts and the reason for this bead is specifically for the person who has the fish on or is reeling the plug in so it doesn't slam that swivel into the eyes. So it's kind of like your stopping point, you know, so it protects the, the eye of the rod. And also, you know, that'll grab a little bit of weeds too yep. and keep that weeds out of your bead chain, which is our next thing we're gonna use. This is a Tornado Fishfield bead chain. I'm gonna tie this on. And as, that, as it's going, you know, the bead will go down to the bead chain and um, you know, like Nick says, when you reel in, that'll help it keep it out of the eye, but it'll also keep the grass off there. Mm -hmm. And today, what, we were running 17 pound tests? Yeah, so, and this, from the bead chain, we're gonna go down to some 17 pound fluorocarbon. You can run, you know, honestly, I run 20 pound, 17 pound, anywhere in there. You don't wanna go too light because you don't wanna hook the fish of a lifetime and have 10 <laughs> or 12 pound test on there. I see a lot of guys run really light line on their plugs thinking it makes them dive deeper. I can tell you I've run steelhead plugs with 25 pound test on them and it works just fine. So don't sell yourself short because you don't want to hook that fish of a lifetime and have it break off. Um, and a lot of these fish that you're going to catch on these plugs tend to be bigger fish a lot of the time. So really, really it's worth bulking up on that. And you can either use a fluorocarbon like we are. This is just the standard Seaguar fluorocarbon. You can use any kind of line. We're not like saying this is the best line used by any means. And I definitely, you know, with the fluorocarbon, as this as it's coming to the fish, you know, it's in front of them. So mm -hmm. it's not like, you know, when we're bobber fishing right. where that line's right there, it's all behind them, you know, so they don't really see that line all the Exactly, exactly. Multiple plugs we use. Um, Yakima Bait has some really nice ones that we've been running, 3.5s and 3.0s. So this would be your 3.0, it's a little bit smaller. And this is what we've been running mostly is the 3.5s. Um, this, this plug's super cool, dives deep. It's got the big bill on it. It's more of a side-to-side -side action. Um, this is probably, I, I would say, probably one of the most most frequented steelhead plugs on for the river. For sure, for sure. Yeah. And you know, depending on our water color is, you know, when we'll kind of do some changes. I kind of like the darker colors in the super clear water. And obviously, you know, when we're a little bit dirty, then the flashy stuff stands out more. Right, right. And there's lots of different stuff you can add to the end of these guys. There's, you know, uh, Brad's make some wiggle warts and uh, there's there's like these and there's hot shots. There's these mag lips. There's all different types of plugs you can add to the end. There's no, you know, you could ask 20 different anglers and get 20 different answers on what they're going to put down there for a plug. Mm -hmm. This just happens to be our choice. Um, and what, another thing, you know, with these smaller plugs, you know, with our larger plugs, we usually bait wrap, you know, mm -hmm. we're wrapping them. Um, these ones don't quite run as good if you wrap them, so scents are awesome. Yep, so all you would do to this is just take one of our Procure scents. This is a super gel. The gels tend to work a little bit better just because they stick to the, it, to it, the hard plastic. It is sticky. It's and it is, yeah. It'll, gookum pucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the old gookum pucky. Little, little dab on the front and yeah. yeah, it stays. And so when you do apply this though, guys, and you take your plugs off to store them, clean them because that stuff will stay on there and get on the plugs and all over it. Start kinda, messing that paint up sometimes, yep, you leave them on there. Yep. Yeah. So super, super good idea to add a little bit of scent to it. Nothing crazy. Um, and then what do you run on the rod there? So we've got the Okuma. This one this is, is 902H. Yeah, the GSP C902H. Yep, nine foot. Great, and, great plug rod. And the reason that this, this plug is a little bit heavier rod, it's heavy here in the backbone, but it's got a really fast action tip where the tip, you can really read what that plug's doing. Yeah. Um, got it paired with a cold water reel. Um, these are nice too with the line counters when we're setting oh them out yeah. with clients. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's different ways of running these plugs. You know, if I have three out, um, sometimes I'll do like a wedge. I'll put that front one out and then have the other two yeah. um, just behind them on each side. Sometimes you can do this, uh, you know, a straight, a straight wall. wall. And kind of yeah. like that more when it's real dirty. Right. To try to line them up. Uh, in that clearer water though, I, I do like to stagger them out. Yeah, like so you put like one to the bit. inside and one out a little bit further. And it's gonna be, for you guys that are doing this, it's it's something just to play with. Get familiar with your gear, what runs best for you. Every plug's gonna dive a little bit deeper or a little bit, you know, the size of the plug's gonna, you know, the current speed, all that kind of comes together. So you gotta just play with it. Um, and, and over time, you're gonna start to find things that work. But this is your starting point, the mag lips, the, you know, the setup that Dave just showed you, the little bead on top, just those little things, even the catching the weeds is just such a yeah. such a big thing when it and all comes You can comes put together. hats on them too, you yeah. know, if you're in a real, real weedy area, but that's, that's it. Super basic setup. 
Super they, effective. You know, we've been catching fish on these for before me and you were fishing. Uh, 100%. <laughs> and Long actually, time, it's kind guys. of like a lost art. You know? It really is. Yeah. It really is yeah. a lost art. You know, since bobber dogging and the bobber fishing methods have come into the to the salmon steelhead industry, this is kind of you know, washed away a little bit and it is a great technique in all different types of water conditions. So hopefully this helps you guys be successful on the water and thanks for joining us for today's tackle tip and back to the video. Oh my God, what was that? Ow! Where'd that come from? Dude, I think that might have been a fish. Really? You're gonna have to pull my anchor so I don't go in this tree. Yeah. Are you gonna... Oh, there's a the fish! Oh. I don't know. We look one here, I can always. Oh. I am kind of deep. That's yeah! A, that's a fish. Yeah. That's a fish. <laughs> that's a fish. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Oh, I missed him the first time. Missed him the first I, time. I told you I thought that it was. <laughs> oh, big jump. Oh, oh God. Going. No, no, oh, God. No. Oh, no. Oh, calm down, fish. Calm down. Oh, gosh. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, he's right. Is he in the tree? I don't know, dude. No, he's. He, okay. Keep okay. me over there. Get me over there because I'm going to have to pull him over this gravel bar. You're going to the wrong side. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Ugh. My only chance is to work them up that yeah, far. Yeah, yeah, work them up that, and then we'll be cool. Oh, baby, we're on. We're on. <laughs> oh, and it's a big one, too. Boy, he smacked you on the first time, too, didn't he? Yep. Gotta work this fish up. Oh, he is in a tough spot right now, too. It's our first cast in that hole, man, and we don't wanna, we wanna cast in there again, for sure. My only way, every time you get him this way, he freaks out. He goes back. Yeah. Oh, oh God. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. So just, you think you just stay above him a little bit? I would, yeah, and just, I can feel him digging in the rocks, dude. Because there's a real shallow bar there, and if I get on that side of it, I, I can't get him up over it because he just freaks out. He'll work right up this little back channel, I think. Yeah. I'll just go right back up on the bank. Yeah. He's got a, he's got a stick right there. You see that stick? I'm on it. There, he's on. That's it. Oh, I'm he on just it. Broke it free. No, he just broke it free. Okay, he's swimming up. Get low on him. He's swimming up. I'm free swimming. Low on him. Low and slow, buddy. Low and slow. Kind of like cooking meat. More left. More this way. basically have this thing in free spool right now. And I'm just kind of letting the fish, anytime he puts a pressure on me, I'm just give, letting free a little of my line, keep my thumb on it. Because if he, oh no, he's got me in a root wad. I'm in a root wad. Go forward? Nope, I'm good, I'm free. Woo! Woo! I'm gonna tuck in there. Yep, yep. God, there's all kinds of sticks. Got him. Got him out. Switch, switch. Let's try to keep our feet real quiet right now. Okay. Oh, he's probably he's under the boat. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep that one work. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. I can't believe I even got him right here right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to say. He's right here. You have to move a little more forward. Okay. And I went out. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? Are you? We are so lucky. Me. We're so lucky. Dude, I had that we thing found, in like, the, the one sticks spot three where times. There's no wind. Well. You said wind, and here it is. Uh, Guys, we are dealing with a huge storm today. Like, <laughs> we were contemplating not going. Uh, we get a lot of days to fish together. It was and that's like, it. Like, we were thinking, we're like, God, should we not? But we're like, you know what? We only get a couple days. We're going for it. And it paid <laughs> off in a big way, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I'm jacked. Well, this one's been in here a minute, Nick. Yeah. What do we got here? What kind of fish do we got here? 
look clipped when it's clipped. It's clipped. All right, well, let's get him unhooked. And... Yeah, yeah, get him unhooked yeah. and we'll go right. on his way. Yeah, baby. All right. I love it. Bye, buddy. Woo! Thank you. All right, buddy. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're good. feeling good. The wind's starting to kick up, though, guys. We're going to jump back out here. Dave's going to sit on the motor for a minute. We're going to try to get a couple more casts in here before we're going to try to find a spot that's kind of out of the wind. You might not be able to tell because we're tucked on this bank right now, but it is howling. <laughs> Ooh, Pretty baby. Sure we're probably the only ones out here. Yeah, there ain't nobody else. No out way here. we'd be fishing clients. Today. No, no, no. <laughs> But we got our life jackets, we're safety, we're, we're going to just tuck onto a bank where it's nice and safe. It's supposed to end around one or two today, so hopefully yeah. the weatherman's right for once. <laughs> Let's go, go, baby. Woo! Not going down Catching them all? <laughs> oh my god, he's going to do it again, dude. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> We're gonna go down backwards. <laughs> well, here we go again, buddy. Oh my god. Well, I was trying to stay off that guy's water. <laughs> uh. Are you jealous, Alex? Are you jealous of my muffin? My Danish? Look at me, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm impressed. A little yeah. motor and little fishing. You know, guys, Nick Popoff is like the master of running his motor and fishing. He doesn't even really need his oars. Matter of fact, the guy lost his oars last year and he came up to him and just gave him his oars and fished the rest of the day on his motor. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty stupid though, because I was thinking to myself the whole time, what if this thing breaks? Because <laughs> I have had that too. But, oh God. That's a fish. Oh my god, dude. Ah, buddy. That was a fish. Oh, yeah. Rep, count to 10. What if it hit me with your rod? Dude? <laughs> I got him. Not double. <sighs> right in the meat. Right in the meat. Little beads down. Oh, it was a fish for sure. Oh, I saw right it shoot out. Meat, guys. Hey. Deep. 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 Oh, boy. New style, bro. Like my new trick? <laughs> Is that a new style? Oh, uh, goodness. <laughs> it's just one of my days. <laughs> All right, addicts. End of the day. Another day down. But let's just say this fishing is tough right now. <laughs> I, I feel pretty successful just getting the one. I That's may or nice. may not have may or may not have missed yeah, a couple. Dave lost there. one. <laughs> Dave lost one. I hope it makes the camera so you guys could see how bad it was. I mean it was really tough. <laughs> hey but we appreciate you guys following along and all the support you guys give. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your bell notifications. And next time you go fishing, be safe, fish hard. Nobody panic. Yeah baby.